Welcome to the AIM Learn Fast e-training series presented by AIM Sports, providing support and training of your AIM Sports products when and where you want it. This AIM Sports Learn Fast training module is configuring Wi-Fi communication using Race Studio 3. Your MXL2, MXG, and MXS AIM Sports device is capable of communicating to your computer with Wi-Fi technology. This can be very useful when connecting directly to your AIM Sports data system when a cable connection is difficult or inconvenient. Wi-Fi connectivity is disabled by default in your AIM Sports device and must be enabled via a USB connection or on the device menu. Your AIM Sports device can be configured for Wi-Fi communication in one of two ways. By joining an existing wireless local area network, which requires an external access point, and while being more flexible and powerful, this is more complex or to configure your AIM device as an access point where it will create its own Wi-Fi network. The majority of Wi-Fi connections will be using this access point method, as this is the most simple and direct Wi-Fi connection method, and that is what we will focus on in this video. To configure your AIM device as an access point, simply connect it to your PC via your USB cable, as is shown here, and then select the connected device by clicking on its name in the left side of the display. The details for your connected device will be shown in the right side of the display. To configure for Wi-Fi communication, select the Wi-Fi and Properties tab. This area has a lot of settings and information that we are going to cover. First is the device name. To make your device more recognizable on the Wi-Fi network list, you can append a friendly name to your Wi-Fi network name. There is an 8 character limit. In this example, I have added Wi-Fi MXS and as you can see in the Wi-Fi network name is now AIM MXS 00171 Wi-Fi MXS. Only this last section is user definable. The next area is the Wi-Fi power mode. This is to set the Wi-Fi power mode on the AIM device. To see the options, click on the menu list button. The options are on, which means the Wi-Fi will always be on in the AIM device, off, where the Wi-Fi will always be off, and auto, where the Wi-Fi is turned on only when the registered speed is less than about 7 miles per hour. In this example, we will choose the auto option. The next setting is Wi-Fi mode. To see the options, we will click on the menu list button. The options are access point or existing network. As I mentioned earlier, we are going to focus on the mode that almost everybody will be using and select the access point item. Now let's jump to the properties section before setting the Wi-Fi password. In this area, you can set the default values that will be recorded as each test is created with your AIM device. These can be used for automated file naming and filtering data files. And finally, the Wi-Fi password setting. You can leave this blank and your AIM device will be accessible by anyone with a Wi-Fi connection and that is not a great idea. If your AIM device is protected by a password, as recommended, Race Studio 3 will then require that password to authenticate and connect. If you want to see the password as you type it in, select the Show checkbox. The password can be anywhere between 8 and 63 characters made up of standard ASCII printable characters. These can be numbers between 0 and 9, lower and uppercase alpha characters, and a few basic symbols. It is your decision on how basic or complex you want your password to be. As always, the more complex your password, the more secure your AIM device and data will be. For this example, the password will be LearnFast, and you simply need to select the Wi-Fi password text box and enter the password. Once you have the Wi-Fi and properties configured the way you want, the information still needs to be transmitted to your connected AIM device. To do that, Click on the Transmit button. OK, now all of your settings have been transmitted to your AIM device via the cabled connection, and we have disconnected the cable. We can now connect to your laptop wirelessly. With your AIM device powered on, click on the Wi-Fi button in Race Studio 3. A list of available Wi-Fi networks will be shown. Of course, yours will be different, but the AIM device will now be shown and you will need to select it from the list. After a short period of time, the Wi-Fi device password window will open. This is where you must enter the password you set up on your AIM device. 
For this example, I am going to select the show checkbox before entering the password, but this is not necessary. And then type in the password. And when you are done, click on the OK button. As the AIM device and the computer are establishing communication, you will see this message in the left part of your screen. And when the device is connected, you will see your AIM device listed in this connected devices area. Now that you are connected, all functions will work just as if you were connected via a cable. To make sure the AIM device is communicating with your computer, a quick test is to select the Live Measures tab. This is where you can see in real time what the AIM device is viewing from all connected sensors and ECU connections. Now you are able to download, calibrate, or configure your AIM device just as if you were connected via a cable. For more AIM Sports Learn Fast eTraining content and information about upcoming on site training seminars, visit www.aimsports.com forward slash support, your source for support and training of AIM Sports products when and where you want it.